Why did you choose this, this building here on, on North 4th? When we were starting out, we really didn't want the industrial kind of uh, storage locker look to everything. We right. wanted windows and we wanted it to be attached to a bar and we wanted there to be activity and people and for the people who work in the brewery to be able to see the people who are drinking their beer and everything right. and vice versa. Now how important is the community, the Columbus community to you guys? Oh, it's huge. We would not be where we are at all uh, without all the people who, who kind of come in here and make this place a little bit of their own. The reason we exist and we do well and we, we make good beer is because of all the people who come in here. Pretty much every empty lot in Italian Village now is bought by somebody and somebody's getting ready to put up a condo or a mixed use or something there. Um, and it's just brought, I don't know the, the stats for sure, but I would say probably several hundred people to kind of are directly within walking distance of our, of our brewery. Do you think that Seven and Son has helped this community grow? I hope so a little bit. Yeah. Um, hopefully we kind of showed people that you can have a nice bar and um, a nice bar and tap room area and not be worried about the neighborhood and that the neighbors are all going to be kind of wel welcoming and accepting. Mm -hmm. Now where do you see the industry going in the next five years as far as the Columbus market? Uh, there's still a lot of room in Columbus. We were the uh, eighth brewery to open up in Columbus, uh, North High lets us tell people we were the seventh one. Okay. Sometimes, technically, they were the seventh. Yeah. There's just all different levels. Mm -hmm. And I think there's plenty of room for everybody who's making good beer to kind of come into the market. I think it's gonna become a lot more of a just kind of regular thing. Like, it's not gonna be, oh wow, there's a microbrewery. It's like, of course there's two breweries within walking distance of my yeah. house. Why wouldn't there be? That's pretty amazing to consider that, considering five years ago there was hardly, there's less yeah. than five. That's one of the cool things about 4th Street is you can actually go if you have like a, nice like uh, 70 or 80 degree sunny day and start walking down an elevator and then hit Wolf's Ridge and then hit Huff Hearted and then hit us yeah. and then go up to North High and I think that's all within like maybe a mile, mile and a half yeah. something. I'd like to stay within Ohio but I'd like to be recognized as putting out really good beer for anywhere in the country. Yeah. I think that Ohio in general, it's not just really good for Ohio anymore. It's like, hey, this is good beer for anywhere in the country. You're gonna come here to Columbus and you're gonna try like at least a half dozen breweries that'll that'll stand right next to anything else that's out there, whether it's California, Colorado, Oregon, anywhere.